Hello, everybody. It is Yield here, and we are back with some more Chaos Craft. And today, I've got something else planned. Uh, last episode, what we had done, we actually went ahead and we ca pranked Captain in the Gibbets. And I had just realized that they just uploaded their side of that. So if you guys are interested in that, you guys should go and check that out. But uh, now is back to our base. We gotta get back to base building. And as you can see, this bar, this little part right here is actually opened. I opened it up again because it's time for us to fill up this room with something. Now, I pretty much went ahead and I cut it open. I made a big open area for us to start messing around with something. But what is going to be going on in here, you guys, is I wanna make something where, a room where we can craft and we can furnace our stuff so we can cook everything where we can go to craft do all those things I want that all to be done in this room because I feel like these two rooms right here are both they've got to be things that you really need to get to like often like I mean your storage room that's something that's got to be on the first floor of your house I mean you got to get all your stuff that's super duper important and then furnaces and crafting those are also super important so I'm thinking that's really gonna be what's gonna be best to go in here it's gonna be a really practical room I don't really know how I'm going to go about it. But what I do have planned, you guys, is making an automatic furnace system. Now, I've never done something like that. But from what I'm looking at, it doesn't seem like it's going to be too hard. It's going to take a while. But uh, I think I can do it if I put my heart into it. If I put my heart and soul, you guys, I think I can do it. So I think I'm going to get on with that. It's going to take a while, but hopefully I can get it done today. I'll give you guys a bit of a checkup once I've do it gotten some progress on it and yeah i'll catch up with you guys in just a bit okay you guys so look at my progress it's so much progress right look at it it's fabulous um gonna be honest you guys that cut in between when we last talked was about three hours because this took so much time <laughs> to get functioning i went ahead and i started trying to make it and it just it the only way I knew how to make it was by following the sh instructions of mumbo jumbo uh, in his video but the only way he had it would end up having this entire area right here covered by a bunch of random redstone so it would have looked awful so pretty much I went ahead and I messed around with it and I ended up being so confused so I ended up having to go and message Kibitz and Fancy and then they both came over and they helped me get this situated and now it is functioning you guys oh my god yes it is functioning all we need to do is we go ahead and this thing is totally automatic all you gotta do is flip one switch and those things will go flying up there and they'll come back down and if you wanna put stuff in these to cook up all you gotta do is go ahead uh, like we want, wait, this is the power, this is to be cooked, so we throw in our cobblestone to be turned into stone, and then over here we throw in our coal, uh, and all of that stuff is going to slowly fill up into all those chests, uh, yep, it's filling up right now, look at it, it's all filling up, if we come down here and take a look at it, all of it's getting put into these carts, and as soon as it's all done filling up, we can actually, okay, that's done, and that one's just about done. And now, all we have to do is we flip the switch, and they go flying up, they put all of their stuff in there, it starts cooking up nice and good, it goes back out, refills everything up, and oh, it's so nice, we can just, and now we can just go ahead and flip that switch and shut it off, because everything should be in there now, and now it's just gonna cook everything up all nice and good! So I'm super happy with it, pretty much all we have set up is a bunch of these uh, minecart tracks going up into a bunch of uh, hoppers that I'll just deposit it, everything into the uh, into the furnaces and we have a switch that turns on uh, the little mm, powered minecart right there that'll make everything move and yeah it's actually pretty simple it just it took a long time to get set up because we are pretty much the biggest noobs when it comes to redstone every one of us kibitz uh, fancy and I none of us know what we're doing when it comes to redstone so it's honestly a miracle that we managed to get this done so I'm pretty happy with it but now our next task is that we need to make this thing uh, look pretty so we're gonna have to do that but uh, I don't know if I mentioned right here this is actually the chest where you gather everything so oh oh it's something going wrong because it cooked everything where'd, where'd everything go oh uh, oh it went there maybe it has something to do with this switch here that could have something to do with it maybe 
I think I gotta figure out a way to put that somewhere else. I don't even know we need this powered minecart track. If, actually, if we go ahead and switch that out for that, I think everything should still work fine. Going up there, comes back down, goes back up, comes back down. Awesome, yeah, we don't, I think we're good now. And now I imagine if we threw everything in, it would come back into this chest because this is where everything comes out. I think it was just bugged because that had the uh, lever there. But okay, pretty much that's everything there, you guys. I think the place looks super awesome with this in it. It looks, it just, it also just looks really cool when it goes on. They're all in sync and everything and they just go whoop. Whoop, whoop. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. But uh, next, you guys, I've got to go ahead and turn this place into a pretty area by going ahead and putting a bunch of flooring in and then also having to go ahead and do the, uh, the crafting table side of this because I also want to have this room be the place where we do all our crafting as well. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get started with uh, mining up all of this, putting in some good flooring, and uh, then doing the walls and all that sort of stuff. And I'll catch back with you guys once we are one step closer to finishing this room off. Hello you guys, we're back. And I've gone ahead and I finished off this room here. And it's looking pretty awesome, I'm gonna be honest. I went ahead and I finished up placing all the flooring, I placed all the walls, I placed the ceiling, and it's looking pretty cool. Although it could use uh, a lot of decoration uh, that's what we're gonna have to get working on now. So I've got quite a few logs here that uh, we can do some spiffing up over the place with. But honestly, what we gotta focus on right now is we've gotta get it so that these crafting benches look just as awesome as this. Okay, that's not gonna happen now, is it? <laughs> I think it's pretty hard to top how awesome this thing looks. This thing looks freaking amazing. I, I don't think anything's gonna be looking cooler than this for quite some time. So we might as well get started on trying to make it looking cool, but maybe not as cool as this because this is pretty cool. So I don't know, I'm feeling like maybe we can make the the, the, the car acting benches look kind of cool by maybe encasing them in some sort of uh, structure with all of this wood. I don't know, let's make sure this is even because there's four blocks there four blocks there so maybe even go over one more and let's see what we can do with this area because this area has to look cool and I'm I honestly am struggling for ideas I don't really know what I want to do with this but I want to make it feel like this is the room we have to go to to craft because I want it to feel like it's just it's that awesome so honestly I don't know I feel like I should actually go ahead and try and brainstorm a bit more but I also want to try and get this done with you guys but I don't I don't really know maybe if we go ahead and put some support beams there that might look a bit better. Maybe if we even, oh, maybe if we go ahead and make ourselves these uh, spruce stairs and throw these up here, could that look good? That might start to bring the place together. Uh, that at least makes the room look cooler. I, I do have, like how that looks, that looks pretty cool. But uh, yeah, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep messing around with this and hopefully I can come up with something that looks pretty awesome after some messing around with this. Okay, you guys, so I've gone ahead and I've pretty much finished off this room. Uh, if you can believe it, look at this place. It's looking amazing. I'm loving it. Uh, so pretty much what I went ahead and did was I went back and I messed around with this stuff. I put two layers of chests here so we can access all of those if we ever need them. I put these little support beams here for a little bit of a cool feel. I think I did that while you guys were here, but what I did after we left was I went ahead and I put a lot of this stone and this polished, polished, uh, andesite, andesite, polished andesite, there we go. I put all of that along the ed bottom edge here, and I think it really fits. I re I don't, you know, I was not expecting it, but as soon as I did this, I was so happy. It looks so good. It looks so good. It looks so good. And, uh, so after that, I went ahead, I did a little bit of what I did here, which was I put these little poles here. I don't know what made me think of that, but I did that. And then lastly, I put these wooden uh, things, little wooden support beams from the sky there, and I put a lot of leaves around the place. And all together, I think it goes really well, and it fits with the rest of our house, and I really, I really like it. The only problem I'm having here, the one problem, the one thing I'm having trouble with is this wall here. I feel like it's really blank. And I'm having a lot of trouble trying to come up with what I want to go there. And I just, I can't figure it out. Honestly, I've been thinking maybe if we were to do some stuff with some wooden stairs, we might be able to make something. But that's the best bet I have. But, and mostly, I'm just, I'm stumped. I don't know what we could do to make this 
place look any better. I just, I maybe some paintings on that wall, but right here, first off, I want to go ahead and put some of these stairs here. I think that will make it look a bit better. Yeah, I think that looks a bit better. But right here, oh my god, what could it be? What could we do? Maybe if we go ahead and we put a bunch of these like that, that could look better. No, no, yes, no, 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 not really. <laughs> I'm having so much trouble with that. But uh, before we finish off, I think we should go ahead and grab the last things we need, which is we need to go ahead and we need to do the one thing we have to do in all of our rooms, which is the two lamps on the ceiling. Or I guess maybe one in this case. Or maybe I don't even know what you want to call it. But I think right here is where we got to put it. I think we're going to go like that. We need to go ahead and run and grab ourselves some uh, lighting. But our inventory is so full. I have the worst inventory management in the planet. It's so bad. But let's run in here. I, where, where do I leave all of my stuff? There it is. We got glowstone. We need two glowstone. And we should be good. So let's run out back over into that room. And place these guys right up there. Since this room is an even number, we're going to have to put two right next to each other to make it look right. But I think that looks okay, if you ask me. So we can go ahead and quickly finish this off. If we go ahead and we need to make our trap doors. Uh, we only need... Uh, what are we gonna need? I think we need six, so that should be good. And then I think we need to make some of those. And I think, if I'm right, that's everything because that would mean we're set, and I'm good with this. So if you guys did enjoy today's episode, make sure to let me know and give me some ideas of what you guys want me to be doing in next week's episode. Because uh, right now I'm kind of I'm kind of stumped because right now I'm thinking about maybe going ahead and working on a library by going down these staircases and going ahead and working on that I think that would be a good idea because that could mean that maybe we could go ahead and start to make a uh, start to go ahead and make a library with like an enchantment table and all but I don't know it's up to you guys I want to know what you guys have in mind uh, but yeah if you guys wouldn't mind checking out my social medias the links will be down in the description as well as on the top of the screen right now but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy, and let's just give this thing one last whirl before we head out today. Drop our coal in there, drop our cobblestone in there, and give it one last whirl. Oh yeah. See you guys in the next one. Peace out, cadets. Ha <laughs> ha.